Is it possible to do hair transplantation into the scarring alopecia? Let's discuss in details in this video. Scarring alopecia is a condition where there is permanent damage to the root either due to some disease process like lichen planopilaris, pseudopelida brock, cicatricial central centrifugal alopecia or maybe frontal fibrosing alopecia or due to some skin condition or it can happen secondary to some trauma, injury, acid burn or due to some previous uh, hair styling process like tractional alopecia. So, as we have discussed, in scarring alopecia, our aim of the treatment is to halt the disease process. With medical management, it's not possible to regrow hair. So first, after diagnosis, we give some immunomodulator so that your disease is not progressing, your previous pass is not increasing size. But once the disease is inactive, when you are not taking treatment, when the disease has attended the burnt out phase, in that case, hair transplant can be done but as a hair transplant surgeon we become more careful we approach the case in a very careful manner to make sure that disease is not active so before doing that what do we do we go for a skin biopsy to make sure that disease has attended the burnt out phase because one of the important factor to trigger the disease is known as the trauma that is known as the cognition so sometimes what happens if the disease is not controlled if you are doing surgery that in fact can aggravate your disease process so as this is a scar so here there is a compromise in the blood circulation so compared to a normal hair transplant suppose in normal hair transplant we are giving around 50 hairs in a 1 cm square in scarring alopecia we keep it around 30 or maybe 35 the reason is as there is a vascular compromise so if we'll put more grafts, all the grafts won't grow. Second thing is, in when we're doing surgery in scarring alopecia, first we go for a patch test in that area. We put around 100 to 100 grafts. We observe for six months if the graft is growing properly, then we go for the proper surgery. So that our grafts are not getting wasted and also in the same time, we are growing all the grafts that you have put. Suppose after first sitting the density is not adequate, we can plan in the second sitting. But in a first sitting, we used to avoid putting a very high density. But if we we'll talk about secondary causes, in secondary causes, as this is not due to some disease process, we can do it safely. But in scar, there is a scar remodeling phase which used to last for six months to one year. So once we assess the scar clinically, we make sure that there is no activity, there is no redness, then in that scarring alopecia, uh, which happened due to some secondary cause like trauma, injury, in that case also we can do uh, hair transplantation. But again, uh, we keep the density a little bit on the lower side. So if you'll talk about hair transplant in the scarring alopecia, yes, definitely it can be done. But after the disease process is controlled, we can definitely do under supervision so that your all the grafts they are growing properly and there won't be any graft wastage thank you